do you remember Sam Misner? He has been committed to a psych ward. Uh, I need you to figure out what's going on, see if he is going to compromise the conspiracy at all, and do what you can to get him out of there if everything's fine. What's going on, Sam? What, how'd you end up here? Yesterday, I stopped my car, let the cat pass, and then all of a sudden my car just lurches forward and just runs this cat down. Like, I, it, it jumped the curb, ran into someone else's car, the police got involved, then they pulled some some surveillance video. If we can tell them that he was participating in an experimental self-driving car program and that the computer had malfunctioned while he was supposed to be in control, uh, then perhaps we can blame it on faulty programming. And Esme, you notice that the car seems to be glowing or smoking in some sort of chain-shaped pattern that's across the wheels. That cat that Sam hit is the same cat that your car hit a week ago. He kind of squints his eyes a little bit at you and says, Hey, I remember you. You're the one that hit the cat the first time. What do you mean the first time? These similar looking cats keep dying each day. There's, there's this old lady that lives about a block away that I, I'm sure you've heard of a cat lady before, but she takes the cake. Dottie's house, you get her name from the, the clerk from Smith's Groceries. His name's Jim Millwork, by the way. But Dottie's house is block east and a block north, so I guess it's like two blocks away. You're able to make your way, and it's a rundown neighborhood. It doesn't look like very many people live here. But you get to 1802 Stratford, and you find this house. It's a two-story affair very dilapidated the windows are boarded up what little yard there is has trash piled in front of it the front door has a condemnation notice from the department of code enforcement on it saying that it will be torn down on thursday so the uh the condemnation notice lists dozens of health code violations on there and it says that social workers will remove the homeowner dotty stotts at that time if she's still in there uh yeah so you knock on the door no one answers I call out, Dottie, are you there? You do not get any response. Do we hear cats? Are there any windows? The, it, it's actually eerily quiet. So you had said that this is, that the, there's not really anybody else living on this street, right? Correct. Yeah. You know, uh, do we see anything through the windows? The windows are boarded up. I'm gonna walk around, you're gonna walk around the right side toward the back of the house. All right, I'm gonna go the other direction. Yeah, uh, so you're able to walk around the back house. There's a back door with some steps leading up to it. Uh, there's more trash piled up along the sides of the house and in the backyard as well. Do we see anything as, as we're walking around? What do you mean, see anything? Windows or along the foundation or is there suspicious trash somewhere? You see little vents along the foundation that are the telltale sign of a basement, but you don't see any windows to the basement. All of the windows to the house, even on the sides and the back, are boarded over as well. We'll say that a duplicate condemnation notice is posted on the back door as well. All right, well, I feel like this is the time to, to uh, uh, try the door handle, see if it's unlocked. It is locked. And did we try the front door? Was it locked? If you did, it was also locked. All right. So I turned to Esme and be like, well, we should probably go in, right? I mean, probably. I have a sneaking suspicion that, you know, all of these are ghosts. Ghosts? You think the co the cats are ghosts? Ghost Maybe. Cats? I'm pretty sure this old woman is dead. Mm. Just have that feeling. Um, you know, I probably, I, I was just thinking I could have could make a drone look in the upstairs windows, but <laughs> I probably w didn't bring it, so... No, I wouldn't yeah, imagine. I wouldn't have brought it. So I'm gonna try and, uh, I guess, force the door open? Okay. Uh, how you want to force it open? With my massive bolt. Your massive bolt. I don't know, I'm gonna do combat to the door. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna look in the uh, trash around know, Jeremy, to see if there's like a crowbar or something. Cindy can make a strength times five roll or from a knowledge. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I've got like a. I don't know lock picking or anything like that. Isme could shoot the door off. I'd oh, rather not. <laughs> All right, I just did a strength roll. Okay. Uh, yeah. It works. It takes a couple of tries. Are you doing the front or the back door? Oh, we're at the back door, so we'll do the back door. So. As you bust the door open, a miasma of stench pulls out. Like you, the stench is just nauseating. There is trash, feces, and hoarded belongings piling up to the ceiling. You do see this this woman in front of you here in this very cluttered kitchen. There's a refrigerator and a TV, piles of trash, and past her you can see a horde of cats. It looks like my old drama teacher. <laughs> All right, so is she dead? No, she's she's there and she's looking at you confusedly. What do you think you're doing barging into my house like this? We live well, here. Well, uh, we wanted to talk to you. You could have knocked like a civilized person. We, we did. did. Listen, I'm going to call the police. We are the police. Uh, you've been paying your phone bill? What, what do you want? We wanted to ask you some questions about your cat. She kind of steps away from you guys a little bit. Um, come in then. All right, we go in to this horrifying den of filth. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is rough inside, like real, real bad. The stench is literally nauseating. Uh, it's cramped. If you have any sort of claustrophobia at all, it feels like these towering mounds of trash are gonna topple on you at any moment. There are cats everywhere. You kind of have to like almost kick them aside to move. You're wading through cats. <laughs> uh, they, they are constantly underfoot crawling through the trash and everything. Does it look like there's food for them put, put, put out? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, See, both of you make sandy checks cats. because it smells real bad in here. I don't think we should like need to make a sanity check over a smell. That's how bad the smell is. <sighs> I think you just enjoy making us do sanity checks. That I have been succeeding at. Yeah, y'all have been doing great with these sand checks, so good job. Yeah. Well, okay, so you made it inside. We defeated your old woman puzzle. The uh, television here in the kitchen is running. Uh, it's playing some local news. Oh, the TV. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, so have you noticed any of your cats go missing recently, Miss? Uh, Dottie, was it? Yes, I'm Dottie, but no, no. Do, do all you my... know how many cats live here with you? At least, uh, 124, last time I counted. Oh my god. Uh, Miss, did you know that, that, uh, they're gonna be tearing down your house later this week? We saw a sign outside. We, we have nothing to do with that. We just... We were concerned. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. They... I've lived here my whole life, and there's nothing wrong with this place. Uh, so I so know Ms. my legal uh, rights, so no one's taking me anywhere. There are these signs here, so you you do might you might want to get you know uh, an attorney or or something, because otherwise it might make uh, your your Thursday a little bit more exciting than you may desire. <laughs> um, but but we're not we're not here for that. We we've been getting reports about some cats being hit by cars near here, and we wanted to to see if you if they happen to be your cat. Uh no, uh, all of my cats are here. So I maybe I, I pull out a picture of uh of the one either from the Uber or from the security cam and, and show it to her and be like you know, before it was was hurt and say the so does this cat look like one of yours? Oh, that's Penny. Penny, that's the name of this one. Yeah. Uh, is Penny she, here? Is she here? She's right here. She like reaches down and pulls a obese cat out of a pile of cats and starts petting her. Uh, does does it look like the one in the in the picture? Yeah, it it really does. How it is. is this where he tells us to a san another sanity check? Probably. Two cats look very similar. Probably. Do, do most of the cats look similar? No. As you can see from the map, there are... One of them a is a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I was running out of different cat tokens. There are a bunch of cat tokens. <laughs> okay. um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk. Oh my god. <laughs> None of the there white are cats, cats are that cats clean, by the way. Yeah. Cats don't like being dirty. Do the, do the cats seem happy, or what? Yeah, as much as a writhing pile of cats can look happy. There's mm. some fights every now and again. Especially near the food bowl, but so I, I pull up a picture of the other cat and I show it to her and say, well, "And and this one is this one of your cats too?" Uh, yeah, that's why do you have so many pictures of Penny. Th this one's Penny too. Yeah. So I assume the first one I showed her was the one that I hit a week ago, which I believe you said was tortoise. Uh, yes, um, they they are all of the pictures that you have are for tortoise shell cats. Because the the one that was um, hit by the guy last night that was also a tortoise shell cat. Yes. I thought that was a different type of cat. Nope, they were all tortoise shell. They're all tortoise. Dottie, do you have any other tortoise shell cats? Oh, there's a few, but I know my Penny. Okay. I'm gonna poke Penny. Is she solid? She hisses a little <laughs> bit and bats at you. So, what? What's Penny's personality? Oh, she's just a sweetheart. She starts rubbing Penny's, uh, you know, below her chin, and Penny starts purring loudly. Does Penny have any markings on her? Is Penny flattened? <laughs> Penny is not flattened. Penny looks like a healthy cat. Well, okay. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs. So you start walking towards the upstairs. You look up and you see that the stairway becomes choked with debris and filth choked and trash, trash about and halfway up. Yeah. What about downstairs? Uh, uh, that stairway just goes upstairs. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna push uh, push through. Uh, I want to get upstairs. It is a futile effort unless you want to be completely covered and buried in filth and trash. It is mostly cat litter. I do not advise it. I'm gonna ask Dottie where her uh, where her basement stairs are. Why do you want to know? There's nothing down there. Well, that makes me very suspicious, Dottie. Where are your basement stairs? They're somewhere under all this mess. I haven't been down there in years. All right. Well, she's just a crazy cat lady. I guess it's a ghost. I don't know. Let's go home. So, Esme, you can make a search check. <sighs> Cindy, you can make one, too. Real bad for me. Oh, wow. Okay. Nope. So... Nothing here. Esme, you notice... It's the 5 o'clock evening news that's showing, and they're doing a little featurette on a bus that drove into a sinkhole in the middle of downtown Pittsburgh earlier today. Mm -hmm. we're, hey, lady, oh. were you on that bus? No. What? I, I don't see the... I don't, I don't understand, like, why. Why? why what? That Is this news from, like, five years ago, Jeremy? I don't get the significance here. I mean, that did actually happen not long ago. <laughs> I'm just yeah. wondering, like... I mean, does Esme point it out to Cindy? Sure, yes. Uh, so, S Cindy, you know that that happened the same day that you ran over Penny. That happened on Tuesday. Hmm. Well, Esme, there is a very loose connection to this new story that happens to be on, which is that when I uh, hit the cat, initially it was on the same day that this bus hit a sinkhole and, and teeter-tottered. For a while okay did I, anyone I die no nope. there was only one passenger was it this old lady was it a cat i don't know <laughs> maybe we'll never know <sighs> all right hey dotty do you ever write have you, when was the last time you left this house she just kind of laughs and said i don't need to leave this house i have all of my friends right here so as I uh, that. so, so dotty how do you uh get food for the cat or for yourself. Instacart? You're telling me this old woman has a smartphone and knows how to use it. Miss Dottie, what what uh what type of, of phone do you have? Uh one of them you can call the police with. Now if I were theoretically looking for the basement, what what pile of filth would I look in? I don't why do you want to get into my basement? I don't know, lady. We're safety inspectors. Did, did we not mention that? We're, we're making sure everything's <laughs> safe. Everything's taken out perfect so far. But, you know, we got it. We, you know, the government, we got to tick off all them boxes. And there's a box right here that says visit the basement to make sure it's safe. <laughs>
you can forget that whole thing I mentioned before about them tearing down your house on Thursday. I was just joking with you. Just joke. We're just making sure that that they ain't gonna come tear down your house. Well, I Did don't I know. I don't know what you're what talking I mean. about. I don't even have a basement. You you said before you did, and that you haven't been down there in years. Well, we'll make human so, checks. I'm I've got really good human intelligence, apparently. I do not. My role was not terrible, Jeremy. You should give me something for that. For human and... Uh, I searched oh, to hey. to figure out what the hell is going okay. on. Alright, so, Tabitha, go ahead and give yourself a check in human. John, I'm gonna give yourself a check, but you're pretty sure she's lying. About not having a basement. Yes. Well, I mean, the architecture <laughs> of the house indicates... Uh, whoop de doo um, I mean, we knew that already. Uh, I start... I'm gonna pick up a... Let's see. Is there a um, rake we could... <laughs> Jeremy, what is this thing uh, supposed to be? I'm gonna go stand on it. Uh, Maybe a shovel? To the, to the right of the door? That is right a refrigerator. I mean, I would guess that the basement's over here. I'm, I'm gonna guess over there. I'm gonna punch the old woman in the face. Do it. I egg her on. <laughs> So I'm tired and frustrated. If Captain Marvel taught me anything except punching old women is <laughs> normally fine. Go ahead, roll your, roll your attack. I'm not really going to. I'm going to search in this. Is there a shovel I can use? No, she does not have uh, a shovel. <laughs> Jonathan just threw a punch. Okay. I did try. I got the sex number. You did. Which um, in our house rule is always a critical hit. Jeremy. Do it. Let's see this lady bleed. <laughs> Jesus. Roll your damage. Okay, so a two minus one then. So you okay. punch this old lady. Yeah. And <laughs> she starts open, open hand yelling out and moving moving away from you. I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna persuade her that I'm gonna stop Cindy from punching her again if she tells us where the fucking basement is. I just rolled my persuade. She did real good at persuade. She points in the corner over here and says, if you want to go down there so much, it's down that way. All right, all right. I'm going to go dig in that, that good, good trap, getting my porg shirt all messed up. You spend about 30 minutes or so sifting through this trash, moving it. Yep, you find a door that leads down to the basement. I go down to the basement. I'm going to make Dottie come with us to the basement. I don't want her getting neighbors or police or whatever. So, uh, down in the basement, you find it dimly lit. There is not really any light source or light switch that you could turn on within reach. All right, I pull out my phone to turn on the flashlight. You turn your flashlight on. You notice while you do that very strangely, you don't have any cell phone reception or connection at all. Okay, not uncommon. In this area, I wouldn't be too freaked out. Not to a 4G, not to a 3G, not to any sort of connection at all. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that that's not that uncommon to lose all okay. signal in the basement. So I, I probably wouldn't be freaked out. I mean, that's real life. Real world talk. Real world talk. It's all the heavy metals in the soil. Uh, so yeah, you turn your light on. And if you go downstairs, you find a man tied up. Oh, cool. Dottie, what the hell? <laughs> Who is that? Who's that man? Why is he in my basement? Hey, y'all. Thanks for joining us here at Members of KSL for this latest episode and this newest month of the year. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to everyone that came and saw Tabitha at Comic Con this past weekend. Thanks so much for showing up and saying hey. Um, I wish I could have been there, but unfortunately it was Super Bowl weekend and uh, work kind of got in the way with that. Uh, I am looking forward to being at Gen Con this year. I might be running a couple of different things. So definitely looking forward to that. If you happen to be there, uh, come by. I plan on hanging out at the Art Dream booth uh, when I'm not running uh, games. Um, also wanted to give a shout out to John's website, JonathanCush.com, where you can see his research and film essays. Uh, if you weren't able to 
uh, visit Tapta's shop at Comic-Con, you can still check her stuff out at Quiet Nova on Etsy. And you can always check out my novel on Amazon. Just search for Jeremy Cush, and it's the first thing that pops up. Definitely give a shout out to Art Dream. They've got a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline uh, for Delta Green and for some of their other games. I'll give you more info on that as I learn it. Uh, shout out to Ketza, who does our intro and outro song, Mission Ready. You can find them on Bandcamp. Uh, you can reach us at membersofksale at gmail.com and on Twitter at membersofksale. All of that info is going to be in the episode description if you need to check it out. I'd uh, love to hear from you. Don't forget, uh, if you... Uh, tweet about us using the hashtag KSL. There's a chance I might put your name as an NPC in the new scenario I'm writing. Love to just spread the word. It really helps out a lot, especially here at the beginning. Uh, anyway, I'll let y'all get back to the investigation and we'll be seeing you. Uh, Esme, Dottie seems very confused when she sees this man. I mean, I'm sure she doesn't remember kidnapping a stranger. Well, I mean, uh, if we assume that the only way in and out of this basement is the way we went in, and it took us 30 minutes to clear the door, and it's not like she just brought him down here. Like, I mean, I would assume. Does he look starved? I would look around to see if there's another entrance to the basement. You do not see another entrance to the basement. He does not look starved. He has a fresh looking bruise on his head. He, it, he's wearing a name badge. Uh, he works for the Department of Code Enforcement. His name is Finch on the name badge. Hmm. Larry Finch. Is he conscious? He is not conscious. He does seem uh, to be breathing. He is not dead, but he is unconscious, and you don't know how long. I'm gonna turn to Esme. I think we this is a good time to maybe restrain Dottie, just just in case. You got like a stethoscope or something you could tie your hands up with. That's what I mean, I've got with. zip cuffs in my pocket. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Sound all right. So I think that might be a time to do that. Dottie protests a little bit and struggles feebly, but you're able to zip her up. I'm um, gonna search around the basement for anything else that looks relevant. You mean do a search check? There's no need to. There is a lot of trash. It smells even worse down here. Uh, you're pretty oh, sure that that you're pretty sure that any cats down here are dead. It smells a lot of dead bodies. All right, I'm gonna go try and rouse, uh, what'd you say his name was? Larry. Larry. I'm gonna try and see if I can get Larry to wake up. You can make a medicine check or first aid, either one. I mean, I'm not the one. Probably first aid. Put it I mean, I could do that. Here, yeah, let why me don't do, you that. do that. I'll, uh, I'll watch Here, you, you, you old people sit. So, medicine. So, Larry is definitely alive and unconscious. Most likely as a bad concussion. He doesn't look like he's been down here all that long. A couple hours at most. Alright, that's very weird. She did say that she didn't know that her house was condemned. So, like, maybe this guy was putting the signs up and then... So, like, let's say she's telling us the truth and she never saw this dude. Maybe somebody put him down here. But if the only entrance is through the inside of the house... And, and Dottie, you said you haven't left the house in a long, long time, right? I don't have any need to. I have everything I need right here. Uh, is that really true, though? You don't have any... Uh, any and you're, you're saying you've never seen this guy before. You haven't left the house in weeks, I'm assuming. Like, whenever she looks at the man, she looks really confused as to what's going on. So, so Dottie, do you, you don't know how this man got here. No, I mean, you dug out the basement door. That's the only way in here. Right. All right, I'm I mean, going to wake him up. He yep, is so. not waking up. I You're... will administer smelling salts and vicious slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess that'd be a first aid check. I, I shove Esme out of the way and say, let me show you how it's really done. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you can hit harder than I can. 
I sure can. All right. Uh, so, uh, so Cindy like knocks the salts out of your hands directly up his nose, and he <laughs> he rouses a little bit, but he is groggy and incomprehensible. You're pretty sure this man needs immediate medical attention. Alright. I can wait. <laughs> um, what, what is he tied up with? Just some ropes and electrical cords. Electrical cords? Yeah, like extension cords. Okay. Hey, Larry, was it? What's What's your name? Or what What are you doing here? What do you uh, remember? I, I can't eat anymore. Eat? What, what, what have you been eating? Uh, what? Was he that just kind of groans. Okay. Uh, are, are you okay to walk? What? Can you walk? He doesn't seem like the words you're saying are processing correctly. I think we, I turned to Esme, I think we gotta get him out of this room and out of this okay. house. Let's get everybody out of this house. Alright. What do you want? Uh, knocked out old man or uh, or crazy old lady? Your, your pick. I'll handle the crazy old lady. All right, I'm gonna untie uh, Larry from his chair there, and then try and guide him out of the basement. You're able to get Larry, rouse him to his feet. He's leaning very heavily on you. He's in a bad, bad way, but you're able to get him out the kitchen door as the six yeah. o'clock news turns on. Just uh, you're gonna take him outside. Uh, maybe sit him down on the stairs out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Larry, do you do you need anything? Are you thirsty? Are you uh, hurt anywhere? He mutters something incomprehensible. I'm gonna need you to sp say that again. Uh, I think I need a doctor. All right. Well, you were unconscious, so it's all right that you don't know how hard she failed at waking you up. But she's a doctor. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so es Esme, he, uh, what, 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 what do you? So, what do you think uh, you need help with? What's What's wrong? What can you tell us? Uh, I'm gonna run a diagnostic on this human. So, yeah. Esme, you were trying to take Dottie out of the house, right? Yeah. Describe that to me. So, um, we've, we've zipped her hands behind her back, and I'm steering her by her shoulders out of the door. Okay. So, you get to the door, and you're not able to move her anymore forward. Why not? It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like as you're trying to push her through the doorway, there's some sort of immovable force keeping her there. And she lifts her hands up and pushes your hands off her shoulder and says, You're not taking me out of my house. This is where I belong. I zipped her hands together behind her back. Yes, you did. How did... Okay, Dottie, how did you get out of the cops? I don't know what you're talking about. If you look down, you can find the cuffs. It looks like they've melted through in one particular part. Huh. That's odd. If Take that man to the hospital. He needs help, but leave me alone. Uh-huh. Dottie, you need to come with us. I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Because this is my house, and you're not taking me anywhere. Okay, I, I recognize that, but why not? She just gives you a look like like you're stupid. Oh, I'm the stupid one here, okay. Alright, well, I guess... I don't know. I, I guess I'll... I'm trying to figure out what the hell Jeremy wants us to do here. Like, well, there's I, this she, fucking... I mean, I she's know. got some sort of magic... This is just... Let's just burn uh, the house down. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm good. I, you know, killing cats, I'm all, all behind. But I feel we got a mystery uh. to solve here, too. So she's got some sort of weird, weird demon power. Yeah. Uh, possession something something. Cindy, Larry is not, uh, like, you've got him out here in the midday sun, and he's just really not looking that great. So, so, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, did you say midday sun after the 6 p.m. news came on? Oh, you know what, I sure did, didn't I? <laughs> so it's the 6 p.m. sun more than the midday sun, right? I'm so tired. I mean, you can uh, check what time it is. <laughs> Go to time.is. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me that we may have lost some time or something? Alright, I'm gonna go lie down. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna use a sundial to try and figure out what time of day it is. Okay, so you use the modern day sun file known as the cell phone. Yeah. Uh, and you see that not only do you have cell signal back, 
but it's 2.30, roughly 30 minutes after you entered the house. But the, the house has a news report that's saying at 6 p.m. And you spent about an hour and a half in the house. I'm going to look at the, uh, the sign on the back of the door again and look at what year it was posted. <laughs> it, it was posted uh, six days ago on Thursday. Oh, well. I mean, they're going to tear it down anyways. Let's let the ghost woman have it for now. So when I look in, so I'm outside. When I look in the door I left open, what do I see? You see Cindy and Dottie inside. She sees herself. I'm sorry, you see Esme and Dottie inside. I was going to be freaked out there for a minute. <laughs> um, are they moving at normal speed? They seem to be, yes. All right. You can hear them talking, but it sounds like you're hearing them from the end of a long tunnel. I'm going to call call in to Esme and say, Esme, no time has passed since we went in the house. Well, time has passed, but well, I mean, not I as much. Of speech. Jeremy, oh, okay. it's I knew that you were going to be a bit, and you were going to be like, well, actually, two minutes have passed. Um, Listen, y'all are trying to solve a mystery. I want to make sure you have as much accurate information. But this was me telling her a character. A... <laughs> I'm going to do it again, Jeremy. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to call out to Cindy and be like, hey, Cindy, <laughs> basically mean, no time has passed. I mean, as <laughs> my excuse. Esme, Esme, <laughs> basically no time has passed. Footnote, actually three minutes have passed. Okay, so it's faster on the inside of the house than it is on the outside of the house, which makes zero goddamn sense. Uh, I'm gonna check Dottie's mailbox for one of those fucking ACLO envelopes. I don't know, Jeremy! Uh, you're sitting yeah, over there no, grinning like a smug little bastard. Like, oh, you're gonna solve my time puzzle. Like, it's just a crazy old woman with cats. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I've uh, I've called an ambulance. I assume at this point. I think I'll. I think I would call an ambulance. You think that you, a Delta Green the agent trying to keep things on the down low, would call an ambulance to this house? I don't know. What, for whatever reason, Esme is not coming out here. And this guy I is saying he's going to die. I came out and went to the mailbox. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were looking in the mail slot. No, there's um, a mailbox outside. Uh, yeah. Mm, there's not really mailboxes in Pittsburgh, actually. Oh, there's not? Not really. Not not in the city. Okay. Um, mail slot, though. There would be a mail slot. Okay. Um, well, if you go up to the front door, wading through the millions of cats... Uh, you do find a overstuffed mailbox. It does not look like she goes through this on any sort of regular basis. I mean, do you understand what a what a a, a letter a mail slot means? There's so, no box involved. There's just, just be a, a pile, pile of letters on the bottom. Yeah, there's just a pile of mail on the floor with cat feces all over it. But you do not find any uh, let's learn to speak aclo information there. All right. Alright, uh, I'm gonna uh, call on Esme, I think we should get out of here. I mean, probably. Probably should rethink this whole Delta Green thing entirely. Tell them to shove it. Uh, what is what is in these doors? Why are they... Uh, so that is a parlor. It's mostly cats. Okay. The next one is a bathroom. It is also mostly cats. Is there literally anything weird in this house other than a crazy old woman and too many cats? Sure is a lot of cats. And it's 6.15. I'm going to stick my head in and look at the news. What what are they talking about? Are they talking about... They're talking about, to, like... They are talking about, like, things that have happened recently. So it's not like she stuck, like, a decade ago or anything. I mean, not physically, anyways. You're, pr you're pretty sure that you heard people talk about the different events that the news is describing, like... So this like, is this is an an old news story then. It it feels like this is an old news story. They are That's reporting real things old, that have just already like a happened. Day or two old. It's an old right. instead of a news. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a cat and take it out of the door. Okay. Yeah, you do so. I hold up my hands. Throw it. <laughs> I I put my hands down. No, please don't. I throw a cat at him after he puts his hands down. All right, Cindy, make a dodge <laughs> check. Dodge. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, I might dodge is alright. And Esme, I you need to make a dex check. It. 
Dex times five. There you go. Okay, so Cindy winds up with a face full of cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I make no effort at, at uh, catching it, I assume. <laughs> you try to get out of the way, but it makes it so that the cat's paws land right in your eyes. <laughs> Take All right. two yeah. HPs. So I lose two HP from that. So the cats can leave. The woman refuses to. Leave. Throw, I'm going nothing... to hold up my hands. Throw her her neck. Okay, I throw the old woman. All right, I'm going to make a dodge check. You make a dex check. <laughs> hey, I succeeded at throwing yep. an old woman and out of my house. I again, succeeded at, at, uh, failed at uh, catching her. So what happens, Jeremy? <laughs> so Kill you, me, Jeremy. Kill me. You, like, shove the old lady towards the door, and... It looks like she should stumble out down the steps to break her neck on the steps below. She's uh, had a good run. But instead, she, like, rebounds a little bit and lands on her feet. <sighs> this is stupid. Like she hit a wall. All right, well, I guess there's literally nothing we can do here or find here. So let's collect this baffled, addled city inspector and take him to a hospital. All right, we solved the house puzzle. I don't know. Um, yeah, does, so does we'll it go... feel solved to you? Yeah, Jeremy, it feels yeah. like it, I'm it's, done. It's just weird. I don't know. We can't talk to this guy. We can't talk to her. There's nothing to look at. We had to fight you to find the basement where there was actually something interesting. I don't know. I could try to go upstairs again, and you could tell me again that I can't get up there, and then eventually let me, and there's another body up there. Who knows? Don't you have somewhere to be, Jeremy, in like 20 minutes? So you're going to take the guy to the hospital? Jesus Christ. Yes. <sighs> All right. We are going to take the guy to the hospital. Okay. Take Larry to the hospital. They say that he definitely has a rough condition, a big concussion, I think is the medical diagnosis. Big concussion. A big concussion. <laughs> big concussion. <laughs> and they are going to keep him overnight. Everything that they say they want to do sounds pretty standard to you, Esme. So, however you normally treat those things. But they're definitely, I keep them overnight under observation to make sure they doesn't have any permanent damage. But they're able to get fluids into them and rouse them a little bit more. All right. To a point in which y'all can talk to him if you want. Oh, now we can talk to him. Okay. That only took an hour and a fucking half. I'm going to ask him what happened. Do I need to roll for this, Jeremy? No, you don't need to roll for this. So whenever you fail rolls, you're still going to be able to learn the information, but there's a cost at it. And the cost is that you weren't able to rouse the guy at the house. But but I did rouse him, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, she failed, I succeeded. She failed. There was a cost to her failing. That was the cost. So Larry says, Ugh, what, what's going on? How you tell I, me. How did I wind up here in the hospital? Do you remember going to Dottie's house? Yeah, I, I went at five this morning, and sh or, yeah. What, what I, day is this morning? What inhuman person serves an eviction notice at five o'clock in the morning? You monster! We found it! We have found the monster! <laughs> <laughs> I pull my gun, I shoot him in the head, and Mr. Saul. <laughs> So, we found the mystery of how this guy gets <laughs> up so fucking early. Well, I mean, listen, you gotta do it early in the day, or... Or they catch you and get angry. Yep, exactly. I've been doing this long enough to know. But To know yeah. that you, what you're doing is wrong, and you should be punished? Listen... Did did you see that house that Dottie lives in? She no one deserves to live in a house like that. That is a vi that's there's so many violations there. And we've been talking to her for months trying to get her help to fix the place up or clean it up or anything and she won't accept help and now the house is just beyond saving. It needs to be torn down. So what uh so what did you so do you when wait you got there? You wait until the house has to be torn down and then force a solution upon her. Gotcha. My hands are tied when it comes to certain things. Uh-huh. That's what the Nazis said. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want this guy to cooperate with you or not? 
<laughs> Jeremy, right, at I'm, this I'm... point, I have a headache and I'm tired. And drink more coffee. <laughs> That'll help. So Larry says that, you know, he went to her house at five this morning. This day being Tuesday. Is it actually Tuesday? No, it is Monday. Today, today is Monday. When you ask him about what day today is, he says Tuesday, and he gives you the date, and it's last week. Oh. He said, you know, I went in to check on Dottie because I, you know, she didn't come out when I called for her. Last thing I know is something hitting me in the back of the head. Something hit you in the back of the head when you were in the front of the house, the back of the house. When, when I went inside. You went inside the house? Yes. Which door? The back door. Was it all boarded up? Uh, the window's been boarded up for years. Okay. The, and so you went in there Tuesday morning. Yeah, what day is it? Uh, not Tuesday. Um, tomorrow's going to be Tuesday, though. It's Monday? Um, I've been out yeah. for a week? Turn, turns out... Turns out now when we when we first woke you up, you said I can't eat anymore. Uh, can you can you tell us what what that was about? What? I well yeah I mean I am in the same boat as you, buddy. Then uh, you said I can't eat anymore, and then you uh, and that was it. You know, that's all you said. Yeah, he seems really confused by that. I am in the same boat. Esme, can you see if there's anything on his chart about if uh, there was anything in his stomach? All right, yes. Did they find anything? I mean, they didn't pump his stomach or anything, but his vitals, your your medicine is high enough that you know that he was suffering from a concussion, but he wasn't suffering from being tied up in the basement for six days without food or water. Okay. Uh, like, you look at him and he has, like, a five o'clock shadow. He doesn't look like he's got a week's worth of growth. Hmm. Maybe time's not faster there. Maybe it's much slower. Which would explain the news. It was old. Uh, I don't know. Larry pulls up his watch and says, What are you talking about? It is Tuesday. And he shows you his watch and it says that it's Tuesday of last week at 645 That was all the background music I had. 